Hudson continually ranks as one of the top 25 suburbs to live in in all of Ohio. So I thought it'd only be right to make this video to show you a little bit more about the area. And now, unfortunately, I cannot cover all of the areas because Hudson has over like 50 different communities. And gosh, this video would be probably over an hour. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear me talk that long. And I definitely don't want to talk that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down based on zoning. As you can see from the map here, we have 10 different zones, but I'm really going to only focus on four as those are the most densely populated communities. And look, if you get all the way to the end of this video and you're like, I need to see more, Alex, where's this community? What is it like to live over here? What is it like to live up north, south, east, west, et cetera? The only way to do it is you gotta send me a text or a phone call and I can answer your questions directly. Guys, I get phone calls every single week about people relocating here and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move out to the Hudson area, don't be shy, reach out to me and I cannot wait to help. So let's quit wasting time and hop right into the video. We're gonna start off with the historic downtown Hudson area. The nice thing about the historic district is that it literally surrounds the downtown area and you're gonna see a lot of older homes here. Primarily built back in the early 1800s and the 1900s, you're gonna see most of this drone footage is gonna be over on the east side because that's where primarily most of these older homes are. If you look over on the west side there, these homes are built in the 1950s and I'm not exactly sure how they're historic, but for the sake of this, we're gonna focus over here on the east side. Typically here, you're gonna see some smaller lot sizes and some shallow setbacks. So homes are generally gonna be a little closer and a little closer to the street as well. This area is great because you're also in walking distance to, to pretty much everything. The only downside is that since Hudson is growing so much, you're gonna see this uh, increase in traffic congestion, which could affect, I mean, the quality of life. Living downtown really isn't for everybody, uh, but the historic district is for people who wanna walk downtown and just absolutely love the historic character of the town itself. And to be honest, this is something that cannot be replaced. And now homes here are generally gonna be a little more expensive. You're looking anywhere from 350,000 all the way up into that 800,000. Now the reason why you're paying so much for that is you're paying for the character of the house, and which is nice though, because a lot of them have actually been remodeled. So you have this older style feel with this new modern feel. So it's like rustic and modern at the same time. It's super cool, uh, but you're really paying for the location here. Next up, we're gonna cover the blue part here on the map. It's gonna be the outer village area. Hence, it's right on the outside of the historic village and also the downtown area. And as you can see from the map, this place is absolutely huge. There are so many different communities jam-packed within this area. Look, it's pretty much impossible to cover all of these communities. So we're gonna cover a little bit on the east side, the south side, and over on the west side. Just three different communities here so you can get a little bit insight on what it's like to live right here in this area. One of the most affordable places to buy a house in Hudson is actually the south of the city center, right off Darrow Road here. Back here, you're gonna see a bunch of colonial style homes. And yes, all of them have those two car garages for those cold winters. And at back here, you're gonna see an average sales price of around $300,000. You're gonna get around a four bedroom, three bathroom house built back in the early 1980s. You can see just east of this little community that there is a little park over there. So you can take the little ones out there and have some fun. Again, there are no sidewalks back here. So you are gonna be walking on the street, but luckily there's not a ton of through traffic. And since actually Hudson doesn't really have that many sidewalks in the communities uh, itself, you're gonna see a lot of people just walking and running on the street here. What I really like about this community is you do have Darrow Road right there, which runs north right into the city center. This road does get busy, but I mean, come on, you're like a three minute drive to downtown. You can't beat it, especially for the price. Now, one of the newest communities that Hudson has to offer is actually all the way out west there. And it's gonna be the reserve at River Oaks built by Pult Homes. You can find homes here out here for around 500,000 all the way up into the upper $600,000 mark. Construction started back all the way back in 2014. And as you can see from the drone shot here, that homes are still being built. Now for a lot of people, a newer community may not be right for you. A lot of people moving into Hudson want that character. I mean, the city was founded all the way back in 1799, so people want that old style feeling. But if you like newer homes and you wanna live in this area, I'm telling you right now, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Again, something out of a magazine, and you're not gonna have any of those whole old home issues. And the one thing I do like about this place is it does have sidewalks. Like I said, a lot of these communities don't have sidewalks. All right, so we were at Far West, now let's go all the way east over off the Streetsboro Road. And over here, you're gonna have a ton of communities to pick from. 
One of the luxury communities here is Canterbury on the lakes. The estates on this side are absolutely stunning. They have this stone exterior and they're all surrounded by these gorgeous lakes. Now homes on this side are gonna go around 800,000 all the way up into that $1.3 million range. So this is definitely on the higher end of home prices. Now just on the other side of these states, you have these different style homes here, primarily colonial style. They're absolutely gorgeous and they're actually built back in the early 2000s. And what I love about this community is really just the number of lakes that they have here. It's so tranquil and it gives you a ton of space between you and your neighbors. Now homes on this side are gonna go anywhere from around 550,000 all the way up into that $900,000 range, depending on the size of the home that you end up finding. Really, I can go on and on about these different communities, especially in this zone. I mean, as you can see, there are so many different places. So unfortunately, we have to move on. But again, if you are curious about a certain neighborhood, say if you have kids or if you're single or if you like to go outdoors or if you like to go downtown, just let me know and I can recommend a certain place that might be right for you. But moving on, we're gonna cover the yellow district here. This is gonna be known as a suburban residential neighborhood district, and this is gonna be on the outskirts of Hudson. And you're really gonna see this area more rural since it's actually uh, pretty far from downtown. Now to meet zoning requirements in this area, all of the lots have to have at least a 0.45 of an acre to qualify to build a house on it. Now the one thing about Hudson that I absolutely love is since the size of the homes that they have here, Pretty much all homes that I'm seeing besides that historic district are really on like half an acre up to like 1.5 acres. So you're definitely getting some good yardage. And like if you're coming from say California or someone that's tightly packed, uh, this is definitely gonna be a nice change for you. But let's start all the way up in the Northwest part of town over there on the Western Reserves Estates. And this place is a densely wooded area. Unlike that Pulte Homes area that I was just showing you all the way over on that West side, you have all kinds of lots here and really they're all at least an acre or more here. It's a quiet neighborhood with many different styles of homes here like Colonials and ranches and Cape Cods and really the home prices are gonna vary a lot here. You're looking anywhere from 250,000 all the way up into that $600,000 range and again no sidewalks but as I was doing the drone shots there was a ton of people walking on the streets here. You're not gonna get a ton of through traffic so it's really just a safe community to go walking. Now it seems like people out here definitely want their peace and quiet but if you look east over here just over Stowe Road you're gonna have one of Hudson's largest developments here. This is actually gonna be the Hudson Park Estates. This development offers a lake, pool, pavilion, basketball court but most importantly in my opinion I think it offers a sense of community I don't know if that's corny, but I've seen a ton of families walking here. You can actually see from the drone shots that we have a little family uh, walking out there, just enjoying the park. And I actually talked to them, they just moved into the neighborhood and they absolutely love it there. I actually wish I could have got them on video because that would have been an awesome testimonial for anyone looking to move there, but I didn't. The reason why I think they have a sense of community is because if you actually go to their HOA website here, they have so much to choose from here in the summertime. They have. 4th of July parades, they actually have swim meets, they got fall chili cook-offs, social gatherings, and much more to be honest. Now to live in this community, you're gonna have an HOA of around $675, which I know I didn't cover any HOAs before, but it seems like most of them are gonna be annual HOA commitments. I haven't seen too many monthly commitments, but again, they are out there. Homes back here were primarily built back in the 1980s and are also on some pretty large lots here. The average is actually over half an acre. Now, if you wanna buy a house out here, you're looking around that 400 to $500,000 mark. So it is somewhat affordable if you want that community style living. Just north of downtown here, we're also gonna cover another luxurious community here, and that's gonna be the Chad's Ford Estates. The average sale price in this area is $750,000, but the reason why I think it's so expensive is because they actually had a few recent sales above a million dollars, so kind of push that average price point. But you can absolutely move into this area for around 500,000, up into the $700,000, no problem. Now the one thing I absolutely love about Hudson here is it seems like there are lakes in a lot of communities here. You have this gorgeous lake here in Chadsford. Now homes in this development are gonna be fairly large, but like most of the communities I covered, a lot of the houses and lot sizes are pretty large, which leads to be that there are a lot of families that live in Hudson and in these surrounding communities. This is definitely a place that I recommend checking out and homes here don't last very long. Now let's head all the way over to the Southeast side. And unfortunately I did not get any drone shots of this place to show you what it looks like. So don't be mad at me. Now the reason why I think these communities are so awesome is because you are actually walking distance to the bike and hike trails. 
This trail takes you all the way into the Cuyahoga National Valley Park. And trust me, in the summertime, there are gonna be tons of people on this trail and it is definitely a huge selling point, and I promise you, you will take advantage of it if you live in one of these two different neighborhoods. Now, homes here are gonna be anywhere from about 400,000 all the way up into that $600,000 range, so there is some flexibility, and it is relatively cheaper, but I absolutely love the location. I prefer to kind of be on the outskirts, and you're like a five to seven minute drive downtown, so it's no problem, and you got those bike and hike trails right there into the park. I mean, right there, that's a huge, huge selling point. Now, the last thing I wanna cover is the rural residential area. You can see on the map here, it's kind of highlighted in like a manila color. And really this area is designed to protect the woodland and wetlands of Hudson. But the nice thing about this is that there is plenty of space for future developments that are gonna be happening here. Now, you're not gonna see many home sales here, but a lot of homes that are within this uh, zoning district are definitely gonna have some larger acreages here. So. In the future, I do plan on seeing Hudson expanding their communities even more. Uh, Hudson is just a growing area and people are constantly moving here. But guys, that wraps up the video. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into huge detail because there's just so much different areas to cover. But if you're looking to move to the area and you're curious on different places to live within Hudson, make sure you send me a text, phone call, email, because however you want to get a hold of me, I got your back. We're moving to the area. Now, thank you so much, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.